This time on the show, Windows. You love it. You hate it. Maybe you're stuck with it. Eh, we'll unsuckify it. Oh, and Kirby has a nifty DOS script for you. This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by GoToAssist Express. Hello and welcome to Hack 5. My name is Darren Kitchen. And I'm Shannon Morse. Oh, you are serious. This is your weekly dose of Technolist. Delicious Technolist, which, by the way, mm -hmm. you take the dough, which has been prepped overnight, of course, and you roll it into a nice big crust, you know, large size, kind of like, you know, 14, 16 inches, big. Uh -huh. And then you take some sauce and you rub it on the Technolist. Take some cheese and some toppings, you I know, your think... favorite stuff. Are you... you stick it in the oven, no. but you gotta pop the bubbles as it comes out, or else it won't, it won't look very good. And then you, you know, what? take it out. No. Cut it up. No. And serve some delicious Technolest. Mm, it does sound tasty. Is it? Is it nutritious? And delicious. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you got that. <laughs> That's standing for you. You're you're right back from Comic Con, huh? Yeah. Well, of course. It was awesome. But yeah. Very, very Did you see stressful. vampires? Lots of vampires. Some werewolves. We shoot this a week ahead. She yes. has no idea what she saw. No. no. I don't. Oh, I will well. know. Um, by the end of this weekend, though. Yeah. Well, if I'm you're so following excited. her on Bike Club, right? You do Bike Club with Eileen and everyone? Yeah, I've never m really mentioned that on Hack 5. I Hack guess Five. you haven't. Um, yeah, I do a vampire podcast as well. It's an audio podcast about vampires, werewolves, and anything that goes bump in the night, whether it's good or bad. Like headboards. Like headboards and vampires. Yeah. Vampires and pet headboards. Never mind. <laughs> and <laughs> you can find the show at bikeclubshow.com. Nice. Right. Dude. Things. I'm so excited about uh, the new putty. Have you There's seen this? There's a new putty? Well, there hasn't been an updated version know. of putty in forever. Oh. And like, uh, there's a new one. And among other things, get this, a new feature where you can change the font to a non-fixed width font. Putty, of course, being our favorite SSH client for Windows, allowing you to Why? get yourself over to those Linux servers, or whatever it may be. Because say you wanted to run Bash and MS Comic Sans. Okay. <laughs> if I'm you just do saying. that, email us. Let yeah, me know. Yeah. If you're that one guy that requested that feature, who <laughs> would request that? The one dude. Yeah. I can't even IRC without <laughs> so, a fixed width font. Yeah. You know? What are we doing this episode? Well, we're unsuckifying Windows. Uh, last week, we were all about Linux, and we got a lot of emails from like people who are oh, like, hey, yes, you did. heard about this, this, this Windows thing? And we looked it up. Um, and it seems pretty cool, so we're running it, and we're going to yes, unsuckify the UI. Yes, but we found some crap, so we decided to uncrapify it and make it look pretty. I'm making it look pretty. Oh, there's least. my problem. I'm trying to log in as root. And Sorry. he's apparently working on what? The uh, UI just, or something? No, I'm just... Loudest keyboard ever. Paul's complaining about Loudest my keyboard. keyboard ever. This is my Windows box. It can bludgeon people. See? Yeah, that thing's huge. Yeah. Put it down before you hurt me. Okay. Where's your caffeine? Oh, it's oh. down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm wondering. Too much caffeine. He's had like four coffees today, so we need to just get this done. Okay, okay. cool. Well, it's it's Liquid Friday, and we're all just having a good time. So that's what's yeah. up. It's one of those shows all right. again. Liquid yeah. Friday. All right. Woo! Cool. This is vodka. No, it's not. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get into this awesome tool for moving around your windows and managing all that fun stuff. Do your thing. All right, and I I'm will see go. you in the B block. Bye. That would be the next video if you're watching on YouTube, because that's how it's happening now. Now, you don't normally see me raging about a Windows app, but today, today I am in love. And that's because I finally found the solution to my biggest complaint about all GUIs, not just Windows. And it's just the Windows management. And maybe it's just because I'm old school. Maybe it's because I prefer, you know, the keyboard over the mouse. But moving and resizing Windows all day long just harshes on my vibe. And while Microsoft made an effort in Windows 7 to unsuckify Windows management, in my opinion, they kind of failed. You know what I'm saying? When you uh, hold down the Windows key here and uh, you press the left arrow key and it's like, great, now I've got that on the left and then you come over here and put that on the right and I've got 50-50. This is completely useless. Now here's why. Obviously on my right I've got this text document and I've got all this white space here. Text document's only 80 columns wide. Why do I need all this extra space here? And then of course my web page horizontal scroll bars. I'm, I, okay, maybe it's just my pet peeve, but horizontal scroll bars should never exist. Okay, so thankfully, 
I found this awesome program called GridMove, which solves all of my problems. It's so great because this guy is super customizable uh, and it's also, um, you know, really versatile. It supports multiple monitors. It's, there's multiple ways to interact with it. I'm going to show you what I mean here in just a moment. So uh, I already have it installed and in the bottom right here, you'll notice that I've got this little tray icon. I can right click that and there are a bunch of different templates like I can choose uh, three-part reverse. This is one of the default templates that comes with it. And instantly, if I, if I just grab in the upper left here of this text document, you can see that I have these three different grids that I can plop it in. I just set it up there. Oh, look how nice that is. Hang on. Let's do the same thing with my IRC. Oh, isn't, isn't that sweet? And then same thing here with Chrome. And boom, and if I come back over to hack5.org, it's like, no more horizontal scroll bars. Well, actually kind of just a little bit. I do have horizontal scroll bars here in my Word document or my, my README file or whatever that I'm, I'm taking a look at. So, and, and I've kind of got like more space than I typically need for your average website that's kind of like a, I mean, this doesn't matter if it's not a fixed width, but for a lot of fixed width websites, they're kind of going for that, you know, middle of the road, lowest common, uh, 1024, I guess. So since I'm on an HD display though, you know, I've got these bars and anyway, I could make better use of the display. And that's why I love GridMove because you can come in here and choose your template. And I've gone ahead and made one Darren 3 and I'll show you how to do that just now. GridMove, I'm going to find the location of that guy by doing properties and open file location. And there are a bunch of files in here called grids. And if I actually just open one of these up here in my editor of choice, the one that I've created, you can see uh, the syntax is pretty simple. What you're doing is you're defining, and here I am, you notice I'm doing some crappy window management here. Uh, you define the number of groups, and in this case there are five. Uh, the first one here is a, uh, an undo if I, uh, if I don't like what I just did. Uh, number two is going to be, and it's saying that the where the top of the window and the bottom of the window, the left of the window and the right of the window are in relationship to the monitor and multiple monitors. So in this case, the top of the number two, area number two is the top of the window is at the top of the monitor and the bottom of the window is at the bottom of the monitor. Where is the left of the window? At the far left of the monitor. Where is the right of it? And that's, that's this guy right here. Where is he? Well, in my case, I've made it the width of the monitor divided by 10 times six. So I'm using 60% of the screen. And I'm doing the same thing here with my zones three and four, uh, which are basically very similar to these guys over here on the right. So if I were to hit like Windows key uh, two, this guy would snap over there, Windows key three, Windows key four, and that's the default one that I've basically based this off of. And you can see them as you grab them here in the upper left or you can also uh, hold down the middle mouse button to move these guys around, which, I mean, if, if you really want to use a mouse. But I'm all into the, like, boom, Windows key 2, Windows key 3, right? So when I load mine, which is slightly customized, the uh, Darren 3 grid, and just copy one that's similar to what you're looking for and, you know, rename it. Um, so I'm going to right-click over here and choose my template. All right, so I'm set to Darren 3. So now when I hit Windows key 2, oh, look at that. Windows key three, Windows key four, I want to put that guy down there. And where did my text doc go? Over here, right? And look at that. So rather than before it was all like getting cut off and now it's just, I think, the perfect size. I know this is such a, you know, little quibble here. Oh, and then Windows key five for, oh, that's what's up, right? Especially for, you know, little IRC action. That's what's up. Hey, how goes IRC people? Anyway. So um, that's just something that has been tickling my technolist because I absolutely hate Windows management. And I'm sure you guys, you know, may, like, what are your thoughts, right? Like, do you have, do you, actually, big question, do you know of a similar utility for Linux? I know I'm not talking about screen for, for Bash. I'm talking about, like, the actual GUI. Because um, now that I have this on Windows, I totally need this on my Linux box. Anyway. That is what is tickling my technolus in Windows. I'd love to hear what you guys think. Uh, feedback at hack5.org. And stay tuned because in just a bit, Shannon's going to be showing us a sweet tool to spruce up Windows desktops. But first, let's take a quick break and check in with Kirby for the meow of the week.
Being in IT and not using the right tools to get the best results for your clients is like a surgeon not using the best, most reliable medical equipment. How can you expect your clients to work with you? That's why I use GoToAssist Express by Citrix, the best remote support tool available. GoToAssist Express is designed with speed and usability in mind, which makes it easy to get in, diagnose, and resolve problems fast. And with unlimited use, you can support all you want for one flat fee. Hack5 viewers can try GoToAssist Express free for 30 days. For this special offer, visit GoToAssist.com slash Hack5. That's GoToAssist.com slash H-A-K-5 for a free trial.